Hey, sweetie, have you watched any good anime lately? Yeah, I've seen Kingdom. It's really fun. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard about that one. I'm still too busy playing around on my retro consoles instead of watching anything new, though. <laughs> So if I don't record, he's gonna keep talking to me? No, he's waiting for you to reply. Or you can click start and he'll just say something random. Oh, okay, but okay. But you can keep talking about whatever as well, just by hitting record. I knew you were busy, but you used to watch Kingdom. It's so good. Maybe next month? I'm still trying to perfect the features of my latest game. Did you make sure to feed Tin Chan today? Yeah, I did. You never do, huh? I don't always remember, no, but at least I picked up steak for our dinner tonight. Speaking of which, do we have any <laughs> barbecue sauce left in the fridge? Why you care? You never cook. Ah, you, you still need sauce ka. I said ka. <laughs> that's, that's okay. I care because I enjoy a good meal as much as you do. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Showing his attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you know the Commodore 64's SID chip was so powerful it became a staple for many electronic music artists? How have you been? Uh, I've been good. Uh, so you like the Commodore 64, huh? Did you have one as a kid? Yep, my personal favorite. I didn't have one as a kid, but I have a massive retro game and computer collection now. Uh, do you own anything retro or collect anything actually you did have one as a kid and you like to play i don't know seven cities of gold tell me about that game whoa talk about memory lane yeah absolutely loved seven cities of gold it was this transformative title that really brought scope and depth to exploration games. Imagine playing something like Assassin's Creed, but instead discovering the new world. Definitely one of my all-time faves. Oh yeah? Who made it? The game was developed by the late, great Dan Button and published by EA. Actually, she went by Danny Button later in life. Let's call her with that name. Thanks for correcting me. You're right. Yep. Danny's work always inspired me. Her artistic direction really stood out. One of those games that, that, that fuels Let's Get Immersive tonight. Hey there. Uh, did you know that the original Nintendo Game Boy had a black and white green tinted screen and was released in Japan in 1989? It was a game changer. Oh. Yeah, and you could change your games on it too, right? Yes, exactly. It used game cartridges, enabling players to swap them easily. Do you have any consoles or systems that you enjoy playing? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Atari Jaguar. I think it's the best system in the world. If you disagree, we're going to have a fight. Oh man, the Jaguar, huh? Between you and me, that might actually be worse than the Virtual Boy. But hey, each to their own. I can respect your love for the eyeball systems, but let's agree to disagree on this one. Okay, what's the best system then? For me, it'd have to be the SNS. Great library, beautiful colorful graphic, and slick controller. But different people have different opinions, am I right? 
Yeah, because everyone thinks the games that you make are the worst. At least everyone agrees on that. Um, I spend more time writing game code than reading reviews from harebrained trolls on the internet and keeps me sane. <laughs> really? Is that so? You sound uh, a little hurt. Me? Hurt? Don't make me laugh. Imagine giving someone a power over you is, uh, pardon my French, in a... What? What are you talking about? Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. Hey, uh, what's up? Did you know the 16-bit era was... Hey there. Did you know that Digital Research CPM was one of the top operating systems for early home computers like the Commodore 64 and the Apple II? Uh, actually, I think CPM was on the 128, and no, it wasn't very popular. No one used it on the 128, at least. That's, it's a common mistake. Uh, CPM was actually released for both the Commodore 128 and the Commodore 64 in the 1980s, though it was definitely more popular on the 64. CPM was not on the 64. I'm going to Google it right now. Oh. Googling won't change CPM's availability on home computers. It was made for Commodore 64 and 128. Okay, maybe you're right. I don't know. I didn't know that. That's okay. No worries. So what video games have you been playing lately? Mm, any game not made by you. Did you try Hades? The people seem really into it for some reason. Once I bought some of your games and then I got refunds because uh, they were so bad. Wow, harsh. Hopefully I'll release a game you like one of these days. Not likely. Well, opinions are subjective, I suppose. Maybe I'll just stick to collecting more retro computers and consoles then.